downtown Virginia Beach is a growing part of Virginia Beach and it has a lot of things happening, lots of stuff that is still coming to the area. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about the great things about living in Virginia Beach, houses, house prices, things to do, the shopping, all the stuff in downtown Virginia Beach, as well as the downsides. So by the end of this video, you'll know if living in downtown Virginia Beach is for you or it's not. And we're starting right now. Hey, my name is Sam Sansalone and I'm a real estate agent in the Hampton Roads area. That goes from Virginia Beach and goes through Williamsburg. And I do videos every week about living and moving to the area. Downtown Virginia Beach in Virginia Beach is called Town Center. And that is what you would consider to be downtown Virginia Beach. And looking on the map for frame of reference, here is the, the map of the city of Virginia Beach. And it is in the pretty much the center of Virginia Beach right here. This whole area right here is what you would consider the inner uh, section of downtown Virginia Beach or town center. And this includes uh, high rise buildings. It includes lots of uh, shops, walkable areas, lots of uh, restaurants and stores, uh, places that are all in there that feel like a downtown area. The reason I say it that way is because downtown Virginia Beach is a very recent development in Virginia Beach. It started in the early 2000s, where back before then, it was considered just an area called Pembroke. Pembroke had a Pembroke Mall, which is still there, but has now since uh, closed down and will be turned into, into something else. Uh, but Pembroke had other, you know, uh, single family houses, lots of commercial buildings, uh, but nothing very tall, nothing very extreme, nothing really that, that made it feel like a downtown at all. It was still the middle of suburbia uh, in Virginia Beach. Well, then what the city did was they started expanding this area and making it like like, what if we made a actual downtown part of Virginia Beach and put it right in the city, the center of the city, which is what they did. And so over the course of time, they started building a lot of taller buildings, uh, even condos in those uh, high rise buildings, uh, more office buildings in that area. So it was kind of the focal point became the focal point of a lot of what was going on in the commercial and also part of the residential heartbeat of Virginia Beach. So the number one reason why town center is great to live in is because it is extremely convenient. Convenient. Town Center has a ton of stuff. It's like, so for example, there are restaurants out the wazoo in downtown Virginia Beach. If you live in downtown Virginia Beach or Town Center, you will be within walking distance or easy access to a ton of restaurants, dozens of restaurants in downtown Virginia Beach. Keegan's Taste, uh, Tupelo Honey, a Cantina Laredo, uh, Quirks is a funny little uh, restaurant. Ruth's Chris, Yard House, which is a great place to watch sports. Things to do in the middle of Town Center. You've got the Funny Bone, the Sandler Center for Performing Arts, a Zyder's, uh, Dream Theater, which is another performing arts uh, theater, and the Fountain Plaza, which is a spot right in the middle of Town Center where they have like Christmas lights, uh, uh, extravaganzas, a New Year's party every every year, and more chains like the Cheesecake Factory is in Town Center. And Nando's, which is a South African chicken place, but then there are things outside of the actual inner part of Town Center that is like an extension of suburbia, but is fantastic to be near. So you've got Walmart, you've got Target, you've got Wegmans, which is my favorite grocery store in Virginia Beach. You've got uh, other grocery stores nearby within a five to seven minute drive. And a lot of other big boxes like REI, uh, J Crew Factory, all the like Office Depots, a uh, big Bed Bath and Beyond, all of those big chains. It also has some some older like mom and pop spots as well, like especially mom and pop restaurants. A great place to watch football if you love an out of market team is Tailgate Sports Pub, which is just north of of uh, Town Center. So the main thing to know here is that you're it's convenient to be living in the actual uh, part of Town Center because you can be in the downtown area yourself and kind of feel like you're in the city. But then even if, even if you live just outside of Town Center, you have other suburban. Uh, uh, elements that make it feel like you're very close to everything as well as in addition to being close to town center. So that leads me to one of the benefits of being in town center, living in town center is that you have a lot of ac access with different types of houses. So namely, as you're in downtown Virginia Beach and town center, you'll have mostly condos and like newer uh, high rise condos. For example, in, in town center, there is the big Weston building that is in town center. There are condos in there. There's also a place called Studio 56 in town center that is, also has more condos. And another one of the most hidden, I think one of the best condo spots anywhere in Virginia Beach because of the price and because of location is called Columbus Station, which is just south of downtown Virginia Beach. You could ride your bike, walk, drive a car, anything up into town center in just a matter of a couple of minutes. Uh, and the prices in there for a two bedroom condo are in like in the low 200s right now. Now, as you get out of town center or downtown Virginia Beach, there are a lot of places that are nearby uh, that aren't in the middle of downtown, but are close and it feels like 
like you're pretty close access to those things. And I'll show you on the map what I'm talking about. So going further south, you'll have other neighborhoods that I like a lot close to the uh, I-264 corridor uh, near Town Center, which is Kempsville Lake, townhouse neighborhood in, in the upper 200s. Uh, and also Larkspur, Bellamy Manor. These are ho houses in the fours and fives primarily, and sometimes a little into the sixes. Um, houses that are more like larger, four bedroom, five bedroom, you know, 25 to 2,800 square feet is very common in these in these areas. So to me, it really adds to the flexibility of people that might want to live near town center, but have a larger family or want a larger house. Uh, and then for going further across the street uh, towards 264, there's Mount Trashmore, something great that you can do that is super convenient for people that live nearby and also close to town center. But next to that is Windsor Woods, which is to me one of the most underrated and, and uh, great value for the price of spots uh, in Virginia Beach, which is in you know, a three, four bedroom houses. And, uh, you know, it can be in the upper threes, uh, mid to upper threes right now in Windsor Oaks, which is just next to Mount Trashmore. You can walk to Mount Trashmore and you're again, very easy access to town center as well. So I consider the greater town center area, you know, about five to seven minute drive. Cause once you get onto a main road, for example, on Holland road here, going towards uh, independence Boulevard and even going towards Virginia beach Boulevard. Once you get close to one of these main roads, you can get to town center very, very easily. Uh, so going, going up further north, you got Pembroke Manor and Pembroke Meadows. Let's drop a pin here so you can see that. Uh, these are in the 350, 400 price range. And if, if you're on the water, it gets, gets higher than that. But uh, low, mid fours in some cases as well. So this finish, this feels similar to uh, Windsor Woods, but a little bit higher price in some cases if the houses are a bit larger. Uh, and then zooming out, you've also got Aragona. Aragona is just across the street uh, and close to one of my favorite uh, uh, restaurants called Mazari Kebab. Great, great place for euros. And this is these are more in like the low three hundred thousand dollar price range. So um, these kind of funky floor plans in some some spots, uh, you'll have kind of hit and miss as to what the area feels like. Uh, and that's kind of where I, why you might find that you're paying a little bit less for this area uh, because you're just getting this is a different type of setting and uh, sometimes a little bit cheaper houses, if you will, uh, in my opinion. And another neighborhood that is just northeast of town center is Thalia, which I love Thalia a lot. Houses built in the 60s, primarily 50s and 60s. Uh, these can be anywhere from like 1,500 square feet to 3,000 and more, uh, depending on where you are in the neighborhood. And you can go into the back near the water, Real nice property, pushing a million dollars and over as you get on the water itself. So well, this is a very unique neighborhood compared to other neighborhoods close by uh, town center. Uh, you've got Kemsville Greens, which is next to the Kemsville uh, Greens Golf Course. Pretty good 18-hole golf golf course. I uh, I think there are others better in the area, but I think just being convenient to there if you live close by, it's a nice place to play. Pocahontas Village is, an, is a neighborhood I think is a very sneaky spot for price and size. Um, 300 325 uh, you can get a house in here, again, pretty basic, but for the price and for locations, this is a great spot uh, because literally as you drive out of uh, Pocahontas Village, and this is where you see Pocahontas Village, you drive out of there, you'll get to see the spot where Independence Boulevard is. You can drive right there and you're literally there in about 30 seconds. And then there's town center right there. You're going to have houses, townhouses, they're in the upper twos and the low threes. You're going to have uh T condos in the twos up to over a million dollars in town center. You're going to have single family houses in the twos, threes, fours, and $500,000 price range uh, in uh, the greater town center area. So you're going to have variety. And I think that is another benefit of being in the area. Now, another benefit to being in town center is the convenience to other parts of Hampton Roads. So going back to the map, if you're on 264, if you look, there's town center, you are literally two minutes away, three minutes away from the 264 interchange, which takes you towards the beach and also takes you over towards Norfolk, you can be living in the town center area and be in downtown Norfolk in a matter of about 12 minutes. That is awesome. It doesn't look like it, but it's very easy because it's once you get on 264, it's just a straight shot to Dor to Norfolk. Same goes with, with 64 going towards the northern parts of Norfolk or towards uh, the northern parts of Virginia Beach. You can be in a lot of places in 15 minutes or less, uh, and 20, 25 minutes can take you a lot of places. So you can be in downtown Hampton in about 30 uh, to 32 minutes, unless there's a bunch of traffic. Now, why is a town center not a great place to live? Well, number one is it's a downtown, so it feels a little bit cramped. 
Um, you know, it's got the same feel as what you would expect in a very small downtown, but because they had a kind of a, a smaller a footprint or area to build in, it kind of even feels more cramped than you might expect uh, compared to like a small uh, downtown in a different uh, area because uh, you might see a small downtown, but more spread out and doesn't feel as kind of closed in. Number two is it's pretty commercialized. So there aren't a lot of mom and pop spots in the middle of town center. Uh, so, you know, if you like that old style feel, it's not, that's not what this is. This is pretty new uh, and it can feel pretty new, uh, but it also feels a bit commercialized and big boxy. And so I'm not a huge fan of that, but you know, it's, it is what it is. Next one is the traffic. Virginia Beach is already known for just being congested in general because of all the windy and roads and stoplights and whatnot. But to make matters worse, they added downtown to a very congested part of town. So it leads to a lot of bumper to bumper, you know, traffic coming in and out of the area. The, uh, the interstate exit ramp and on ramps in downtown or close to downtown are extremely annoying, extremely complicated. Uh, and you can find yourself being in almost in accidents a lot as you're trying to merge in and out because people are just going all over the place trying to get across uh, the, the several lanes of roads. Now, another drawback to town center is that it's a small downtown. I mean, if you go to most metropolitan cities in the country, you'll find that the downtown areas are much larger than this one. If you notice, as you see the B-roll that I'm shooting here and you see different streets, you'll notice that there aren't many streets in the actual downtown of Virginia Beach. So uh, while it's nice, it's helpful to have in the city, it's not huge. And I wouldn't make it to be more than what it is, which is great but a small downtown. And I almost wouldn't even call it a downtown. So if you have any more questions about living in town center or other parts of Virginia Beach through Williamsburg, Hampton Roads, let me know. I've got my contact information in the description. You can reach out at any point, email, call, text, and I'll do whatever I can to help you relocate to the area. And I will see you on the next video.